Okay, it's April 12th. I'm here with Peter Hibley, a freshman at Temple University. He's agreed to participate in a brief psychological survey on perception. Peter, thanks so much for doing this with Call us. Call me Subject X. What? Huh. You're not supposed to use my real name. I'm just a lab rat. Patient unknown. You're probably gonna get rid of my file once you get what you want from me, right? Oh no, Peter, you can go right back into freshman orientation when I you're I can done go right this. back into the modern world once you Sigmund Freuds are done zapping my head silly. No, it's nothing like what that. What are we talking here? Stanford prison experiment? I'll let you into a little secret. I could be corrupted by power. I mean, I'm a good guy. Lord knows I try. But if I had a little bit of power, I could become a sadistic prison guard. Once I put on those mirror glasses, all of humanity would drain from me. It's a sad truth about human nature. We don't have any of those. It's actually a simple perception study. We want to see what words make people feel thirsty so that we can more accurately market smoothies. So if you could just here. We will get... <laughs> you Sigmund Freud's waste no time with the fucked up visuals, huh? What is this, placebo effect? Is this the placebo That's effect right now? Yeah, <laughs> I agree to get $10 iTunes gift card. <laughs> Classic placebo effect. Alright, so uh, we'll get started with the experiment. I'm going to put four words for you here. I want you to look at them and tell me which one reminds you of a smoothie. Let me ask you something. Are you a part of the experiment too? You're monitoring me, but they're monitoring you, that kind of thing. How many one-way mirrors in this thing? But that camera doesn't even work, huh? You're the one they're being, what, being watched. It's Pavlov's dog all over again, except this time, the dog... is Pavlov. <laughs> so, could you just pick one of the words? You Sigmund Freud's a real twisted, you know that? Um, you Sigmund Freud, so Carl Jung. This is a classic so union technique. Words. Hero with a thousand faces. Classic union technique. Peter. Which of the four words reminds you the most of a smoothie? Could you hold it up for the camera? And are you ready? Yeah, and say the word. <coughs> uh, fruit pack. And why did you pick that word? But we got it on camera, right? Yeah, I don't need to write that down. Great, Peter. Uh, how about you pick another word? Flavor blast. Flavor blast. Let's get that down. I'm crazy. Imagine if I had a imagine if I had a twin. He'd lived in a room with no light. I'd lived in normal society. Suddenly he comes in through there. You see if we fight to the death. Oh, we find out about human nature. Great. Okay, Peter. Great news, bud. We're almost there. These are three images of smoothies. I'd like you to take a look and tell me which image reminds you of a smoothie. Oh. And then before you go, let me just make sure that I get your dorm number so that I can I get send what this you has that been about. iTunes gift card. I hit this switch. Peter, I electrocute some guy in the other room. room. Don't worry, Doc. Peter, uh, I'll do anything you tell me. I'll sap. Let me know zap which some poor idiot. You the most uh, oh, what is this, Doc? 4,000 volts? 500 he volts? I'll dark. kill the guy. Yeah. Peter, can we bring the lights back on and let's uh, finish this thing up. Have a look at these smoothies. Why don't you lobotomize me, Doc? Why don't you lobotomize me?